Liz is feeling a bit tired today, so she's having one of those sofa days and uh, she's been sitting on it quite a lot today. I've been off doing other bits and pieces. Uh, but it does mean that there isn't uh, an abundance of huge activity video to show you. Nor a duckling update. Although they're very well, thank you for asking. It's also grey and windy and not very inspiring out there. The wind really takes a breath away. It's I mean, dull. even Monty's given up. He was chasing things earlier, but he's decided to say that's not worth We haven't forgotten you, honest. Um, but there isn't really anything happening that we can tell you about. So, hello. And we'll be back with fresh, exciting updates for you tomorrow, presumably. Yeah. And of course it's grey and horrible tomorrow, in which case, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> and so, wherever you are in the world, and whether it's grey or not where you are, hope you're having a good day, and that you can join, well, it could well be all of us tomorrow. Tune in and find out. Stuff a little bit. That's well, amazing. yes, I, I mean, yeah, I've been knocking around on the, I've been knocking around on the wireless now for about forty, yeah, yeah over forty years. Wow. I did my first FM broadcast in nineteen seventy-eight. Wow. I know I don't look that old, do I? I was I was small. My voice hasn't long broken. <laughs> I had to be accompanied by, this is true, I had to be accompanied by my father to the radio station. Really? Yeah. Brilliant. So they were live broadcasts? No, no, that was, that, that was, that was recorded. Of, yeah. That was recorded and it went out, you know, it was recorded around about my 13th birthday. Yeah. I think it went out about That's six brilliant. months later. Yeah. And um, it was awful. Why was it awful though? Because I, I know, but it was, um, it was scripted. Yeah. So um, found that. Yeah, which I found difficult. Mm. Um, mm. So yeah, it was it was a voiceover gig. Actually. Yeah, it was my first yeah. voiceover gig, and I didn't get paid. Um, yeah. So what else is new? Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been knocking around doing radio in various forms: FM, AM, online, satellite, yeah. DAB. Um, still doing a lot of online, and Liz will no doubt put a link here or here or something to the, yeah. the, the Mixcloud. Um, things so that you can catch the archive and then there's links to where you can hear the shows when they're going out for the first time. Um, and obviously that's how I met Louise because yeah. I'd played some music from Freedom to Glide which is another band that span out of Dark Side Dark of the Wall. Side, yeah. um, and their two albums are absolutely brilliant. Um, I think I still think Rain is one of the, it's probably in my top 10 debut albums of all time. Yeah, it is brilliant isn't it? And I was playing that and I think, it was, mm. I think it was Chilts that sent me. Mm. It was. Your... Because Andy Nixon, who is half of Freedom to Glide with Pete Riley, he's the other half, both members of Dark Side of the Wall. Um, Andy Nixon had you as a contact to mm. me, and I think he. Because we used to see your tweets and things yeah. with, with Freedom to Glide, and it was Andy that said, Get in touch with Titus, and mm. I was like, Oh, I can't get that problem with oh, yeah. because he's like, I can't have him with me. So, Steve Chilton, our main player, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Good. yeah absolutely. I know, absolutely. Brilliant. Not only do I, I get... dream that you'd sort of go, Yeah, yeah, well, I love the album, well, I had to play yeah, it, still do. I'm still yeah. playing tracks from that album to bits, and, and in a couple of weeks' time, I'm oh. going to be able to play something from you. One of the and, and the other great thing is that I've made one of my best mm. friends as a result. I know, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. Quite two, because yeah, you know, Tony Tony's people, is fantastic. And they, they're genuinely yeah. two of the nicest people I've ever met. Oh, likewise. Um, likewise. So that's the power of music. Yeah, it is. Never knock music. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It is so cool, mm, isn't it? It is. The first three mm. music in my life that's yeah. brought me the, the closest friends, the best people, the best experiences. Mm. Just the best times. Yeah. I do get sent stuff periodically, which is like, you must play this. Why? Why must I play yeah. this? Mm. You know, there isn't, I mean, that's, 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 I need, 
I nearly think. replied to one guy, look, there isn't enough money in the world to make me play that. Really? Because it's really. Yeah, it just, just stuff that wouldn't, no, not, not my thing. Oh, other people yeah. will love it, but not me. And yeah. this is going back to what I was saying about taking the high handed approach. Mm. With the uh, with the Tyler Jennings experience, I only play stuff I like. Yeah. And I've got that yeah. freedom because I it's my show, I'm not getting any money for it, I'm choosing the music myself. If I don't like it, I don't play it. Yeah. Um, so, you guys, if you haven't heard the Titus Jennings experience, tune in because he's a fabulous DJ. Oh, you are. You're you are. Nice. You're a brilliant DJ. Um, well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Just like, he's like, just like he is now. <laughs> just that really chilled and genuine and yeah. warm. But the trouble is, now you know what I look like. I don't sound like what I look like at all. <laughs> None of us do. <laughs> Do that with yeah. doing voices. I'm, I think I sound really girly on voiceovers. I'm, I'm, I'm eight foot six like and muscular when I'm on the wire. <laughs> yeah, like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. So when you when you were a lad, did no, you I mean, always did you aspire to be a, a DJ? Yeah. Sort of that was your dream. Oh yeah, so you, absolutely. I, I mean. To do that. I, I was playing with uh, <clears throat> turntables and, and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I grew up listening to the radio. Yeah. I've always, I've always been much more of a radio than a TV person. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was playing with turntables and, and playing records and flipping over singles and listening to the B-sides. Mm. I mean, from the early, so, you know, I was saying, oh, single was great, but what's the B-side like? Oh, that's mm. even better, you know. Um, and listening to the non-commercial stuff. Yeah. And I was listening to people like Johnny Walker and Alan Freeman and Kenny Everett, of course. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. Roger Scott on Capital in London. Um, people like Kerry Juby, Nicky Horn. Mm. Um, and, you know, the, yeah, the, the more run-of-the-mill DJs as well. Yeah. Um, and drawing so much from hearing people loving the music and playing stuff and mm. being enthusiastic and knowledgeable yeah and equally for example roger scott used to do a thing on his uh, drive time show on capital which was the i think that they called it the people's choice and it was a phone line and you'd phone in and phone in before two o'clock in the afternoon the next day and you'd vote for your favorite record and they'd play mm -hmm. the top 10 and around 1978 79 there were the smurfs yeah and the Smurfs got into the People's Choice. Right. And Roger Scott was not very impressed with the Smurfs. And it actually, at one point, he said, no, I, can't, I can't even play this. No. He called an engineer into the studio and said, right, wait, you heard the door shut. Yeah. And when it finished, the engineer went, Rog, someone send it back in. <laughs> and I thought, uh, yeah, you know, really? even, even at yeah. 13, 14 years old, I was thinking, you've got integrity. And I, that's yeah, something that I absolutely. think you should have. Yeah. I, I do listen yeah. to a lot of radio now, and I think, Mm. You, you don't care. You... We were talking about that last night. Mm. We probably won't mention any names. No. Who we'll talk about. But um, with your DJ experience, we were saying how, as a as a radio listener, I I probably take take it much more at face value. Mm. Whereas your experience, with your experience, you can hear if something's a bit more contrived. Yeah. Than, than I, I probably would. can. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes I also uh, listen. I listen to a lot of speech radio. And mm. um, I don't know about you, but I hear the edits. Yeah, no. Oh, so Ooh, I don't so know. Some of the digital edits are particularly. So sorry. That's all right. Some of the digital edits are particularly noticeable yeah. because they don't leave the natural pauses in. They don't leave the gaps. They don't leave the breaths. Yeah. I tell you, you can t yeah, you can tell that it's just um, not natural. Funny enough, I remember when. Mm. Um, there's a great song by Joe Walsh from his album uh, But Seriously Folk, Life's Been Good. It's his big hit solo single. Yeah. Uh, I remember when that came out as a single, and I didn't know that it was a longer song on the album mm. because I was you know, small and skint. Um, but I remember hearing that and thinking, that jumps in strange ways. There are things wrong with mm. that. And then I heard the album version a couple of years later, and I thought, okay, fine. That's just been very, very... Yeah. It sounds like it had been edited with rusty shears. Yeah. I didn't mm. know anything about... I didn't... No, that's not true. I didn't know that I knew anything about editing yeah. at the time. Yeah, but you do. But I did. Yeah. 
Yeah. And um, that's something yeah, else I do. Yeah, as well. You yeah. Can hear it. I, and as a, mm-hmm. and as, and as a drummer, mm-hmm. I've obviously got the sense of rhythm. Yeah. Um, but I actually, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a bad producer. Mm. So we, we taught the camera to sleep. Literally um, did. And the battery <laughs> ran out. Yeah. And, uh, and so, wherever you are in the world, um, I'm sure, like me, you'd like to thank Louise for sitting and having a chat. Thank and you. um, you're very welcome. Mm. And so, wherever you are in the world, and um, whatever you're doing today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you can join her. No, not her. Her. Again, tomorrow. <laughs>